What's up YouTube? Today I want to go through, give you guys an overview on a new accessory I got. So you can see, I have it here in this little pouch. Let's open it up, take a look. So here it is out of the pouch. You can see that it's folded up looks like a butterfly it's trying to unravel in my hand but you can see on this side it's got the shiny reflective side and on this side it's more of a screened matte black all right so there it is unfolded you can see that on this side it's got this rounded hump um, that corresponds directly with the hump Right here that you also have on the interior up there and then in the front it's slightly flatter so you can see on the front here to try to get a good angle of that you can see that it's a much uh, smaller indentation that's gonna correspond with above the rearview mirror and eyeglass holder so the kit also comes with these um, 10 plastic clips. You can see they're very thin. What the, this side will do, it'll slide directly into the, um, the overhead. And then on this side of it, you can see that there's a bit of like a clip in there. So what you want to do is you want to take those clips and you want to clip it directly to the screen itself right along the edge um, with the, where the wire on the inside is. The recommendation is that you use eight of the ten clips. Um, one on the front and the rear, so on here and the corresponding front, and I'll go ahead and put these on. And then two on each of the sides. You clip those uh, directly on. There are ten. The other two can be used as backup. Or um, if you want to uh, give it a little extra security, you can install all ten. So you can see right now I'm planning to install it with the reflective side facing up. So I've got the flat side of the clip also on the same side as the reflective side. You can see here on the underneath. So I'm planning to push these in to the headliner as I install it. Uh, just to clarify, I think I said put eight on. It's six, uh, two on each side, left and right and one on the front and one on the back. Okay, so what I've done so far is I've passed it over the rear seats. Uh, I kind of got it resting on headrests and then I will go and pop it in. Having the clips pre-installed um, definitely helped this with being a one-person job rather than uh, needing two hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how well this works. So now I'm starting from the back seat and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk it forward. Um, but because I'm holding my phone, um, I'm gonna go ahead and install it and then kind of show you the finished product. So very simple, very easy. Um, just from sitting in the back seat, um, above the rearview mirror and eyeglass holder, the head liner is definitely um, a wider gap than in other areas of the car, so it was easy to slide that in to hold the front and forward. And what I did was I pinched the sides of this almost as if I'm folding it back up um, like this, essentially, and let it push itself into the sides here and then you can see this one in the rear as well 
Again, there are extra clips, so let's see if I can't get low enough. Um, if you want to put one here in the back just for added security um, and just so you don't ever lose the clips, then that would be a, a good option. We'll take it for a drive. All right, here we go. Um, sorry about all the road noise, but I am recording driving with my windows open. Um, so right now going about 30 on a back road. Not seeing any issues. It's not wiggling. It's not waving. Um, it's not making any clapping noise. Uh, unlike the uh, cargo kite that comes in the back with the vehicle. Uh, that thing usually it's flapping around. Um, it's actually useless. I keep it under my floor at this point. Um, but this thing seems to be pretty steady up there. I'm going to try to get some speed and see if it makes any impact. Alright. Braking. No sliding around. Accelerating. No movement. Now we will take it up. Okay, so my overall impressions on this here, um, it does what it's intended to do, for sure. Um, it is much darker in the vehicle now, um, so if you're slightly indifferent to the glass roof, um, which I sort of am myself, um, this may be a good option for you. If you live in a hot climate, uh, this can definitely help with the uh, heat intrusion the roof is still obviously black um or mostly black because it's a tinted glass um so how much work the reflective material on the opposite side is actually doing uh i don't know the exact answer to that but i do use a similar device on my front windshield as you can see here i've got it up on the windshield <coughs> excuse me with the reflective side facing out because it, we are in summer so that will reflect heat from entering the car and the bl the back side is black so it would absorb heat so the benefit of devices like this one on the roof and potentially even one on the windshield like that is it will protect the interior of the car um, from UV damage coming in through the front you see a lot of older cars they get that faded dashboard tops of the headrests and, and things that are now exposed to uh, sun that historically have only been exposed to sun in convertibles are now exposed so there's a potential there for uh, longevity of the interior um, but again uh, in an EV one of the areas where this could definitely help is with efficiency so if you've got everything set to the dark side in the sum in the winters it's absorbing heat therefore you need to use less uh electricity to heat the cabin and if you have it on the uh, reflective side you're obviously uh, reflecting the heat so you're using less uh, electricity to cool the cabin um so just from an efficiency standpoint there's some pickups to be had there um but other ways that you could use this is maybe you're someone who goes camping um, and you want to camp in the EV. I know that that's something some people have done. Um, that does not sound of interest to me personally, but I know people uh, do that. You go camping, you could sleep in the car, um, but you don't want to stare up at the stars or you don't want the sun shining on your face uh, in the morning. You could put this for a little extra uh, darkness in the vehicle. Uh, anyhow, I'll leave a link in the description on where you can get this item. Uh, it's going to direct right over to Amazon. And you can pick one up for yourself. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, please give it a like, comment, uh, and share. Thank you.